Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be discussing Javon Holland um, and his game against the Tennessee Titans. We're going to be breaking his game down in a film session. Before we get started, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video, especially if you're interested in more Dolphins content. Um, I'll definitely be focusing on that. But with that said, I hope you enjoy the video and let's dive right into it. So Javon Holland has quietly been having a really nice season. I don't even I don't even know if it's quietly anymore, but he's been having a really nice season at safety for this Dolphins team um, in his rookie year against the Titans. He was all over the field, and I was watching this defense, and I'm like, there were not a lot of good things about this defense in this game. They gave up 34 points. Uh, the effort in the second half was just not there, uh, but they did a lot of good things um, at times. At times. At times. Please. But Javon Holland was all around the football, and I thought that, you know, after a couple of weeks ago, I, I made it, I made a video uh, of, of his game against the Ravens. That did really well. I thought you guys would be interested about how he played against the Titans. I thought, I thought he played really well. So let's dive into the film session um, and just see what Javon Holland was all about. So even if you look at Javon Holland, you're like, okay, he's not the biggest guy. You know, he's not going to be a thumper. No, he's a thumper. Right here, you're not actually going to see him on the screen, but he's going to be in this single high safety role playing this cover one look at the top um, of the defense here. So imagine if Javon Holland was here. He's actually just out of frame, but he's basically right there. So this play from the, the Titans here is going to be this running play, uh, designed run play where everything is moving this way. So all these blocks are moving this way, and you've got Dontrell Hilliard uh, kind of following these blocks to the outside, and that's the kind of the idea of the play right here. Okay, so as this play develops, you see Hilliard, he breaks Zach Sealer's tackle, and you're going to see Javon Holland right here. You know, he's come up from all the way over here, and he's going to come charging in to make this tackle. But look at how he makes this tackle. This is a physical hit. Boom! You know, he stands Hilliard up right at the first down line um, and just gives him a shove. And that's a big play there by uh, a guy like Holland. You know, massive play, hits Hilliard. Uh, so he doesn't get the first down, and then, you know, the Dolphins end up getting the ball back here. But this is just a really nice play, for, nice read from Holland. If Holland doesn't make this play and is a little bit late on this play, Xavier Howard's in a bad spot. Uh, Xavier Howard right here is in a bad spot to try and make a tackle. So it looks like Hilliard could break free for a bigger gain. But Holland reads this, comes down, makes the hit, uh, and, and what a thumping play by, by Javon Holland. Really nice read here by Holland. Similar to that first play, you're not going to see Holland here. He's once again going to be in that single high safety role, but imagine him just outside the frame of reference at the top of your screen here. And the idea of this play from the Dolphins, uh, or from the Titans rather, offensively, is to get A.J. Brown in the seam running that kind of vertical route in the seam, just trying to get to the first down, trying to pick up the first down. Um, and it really just requires an accurate throw from Tannehill to pick up the first down, but it's not too difficult here. So... Tannehill drops back, finds A.J. Brown here for the first down, and you see just how deep uh, Holland is playing. A little bit too deep for my liking, to be honest. However, I love this physicality. He's not scared to be physical. Comes down, once again, makes this tackle. He was all around the football in this game, but that's Javon Holland. Just He's a thumper. He's a downhill runner, downhill tackler. And we talk about downhill runners, right? We talk about guys like Derrick Henry or Nick Chubb um, or even, I guess, Ezekiel Elliott before he kind of fell off the, the face of the earth. Um, they like to run downhill. But you can also have the same idea with tacklers. You can have downhill tacklers, guys that want to go north to south, not really east to west, but really want to just get to the football and have an instinct for that football. And that's exactly what Javon Holland has. He's not scared to be physical, especially against one of the more physical receivers in the game and A.J. Brown, who catches that football right there. He's A.J. Brown's a physical receiver. I mean, he's big. Anyway, this is a great tackle by Javon Holland, standing A.J. Brown up, allowing Jerome Baker to kind of help him with the, ta with, with, with the tackle. But this is a really good play there by Javon Holland, just realizing what where the football is, where he needs to get to, and what he needs to do. Really nice tackle there uh, from Holland, just all around the football. And if I'm being honest here, this isn't a fantastic play by Holland, right? It's not. He doesn't actually even do anything. But I just want to show you his versatility. He's got incredible versatility. He's got a couple sacks in the year, but he's going to be lined up right there um, at the bottom of your screen. Um, to try and rush this quarterback here in Ryan Tannehill. Um, and he does that a lot. You know, he, not as much as Brian Jones, who is his uh, partner back there at the safety position, uh, but he rushes the quarterback a considerable amount. You know, uh, Brandon Jones leads all, like, defensive backs in, in, in sacks. I think he's got five sacks in the year. But Javon Holland has two and a half sacks um, on the year. Okay? So he, he can get to the quarterback, and that's part of what this Dolphins defense wants to do. Anyway. 
in this situation, you're going to see Holland here, and he's just going to, you know, follow Jalen Phillips. Jalen Phillips is going to kind of get that edge against Taylor Luan, right? He's going to get that one-on-one -on -one matchup. And then Holland is just going to kind of come past that and try and get uh, to the play there. And, and this is really just a really good job um, by, you know, by Holland just, just trying to get to the football, right? You know, he's far away from the football, but he gets he gets there, and it, he's, he's in that play. He doesn't make the tackle or anything. But this is just kind of showing the versatility of Holland, where he, you can line him up in so many different places, and he can rush the quarterback. So that's kind of, that adds to, you know, just the depth that the Dolphins have, kind of the versatile players they have in this defense. Really just... This is this is impressive to see from Holland, such a young player being so versatile. You're you're trusting him to line up next to Jalen Phillips, who's a you know eight and a half sacks in the year, um, to try and go and get after the quarterback. Really impressive from Holland, just how much trust the, this Dolphins defense, uh, this Dolphins coaching staff has in him. So we showed you Javon Holland uh, tackling. We we showed you his downhill tackling. We showed you his ability to line up as a pass rusher right trying to get to the quarterback trying to sack the quarterback for a loss right we showed you those two things we haven't showed you Javon Holland in coverage so that's what we're going to show you we're going to show you Javon Holland in coverage once again he's not in your screen he's playing that deep safety role so he's a little bit outside I really do need to get all 22 film um and stop using game film but doesn't matter right uh we're, we're still going to use this um and it still gives you a good indication of kind of what's going on anyway uh on this play here he's gonna uh Ryan Tannehill is gonna have AJ Brown here kind of running across the field and then deep like that. He's going to be running almost like a slant route originally and then trying to get deep um, and get into that deep third of the field, trying to get past, um, you know, the linebackers and the corners and trying to get into the, into where the safeties are of this Dolphins defense, trying to spread the field out for this Titans offense. And that's exactly what he's going to do here. So AJ Brown, right, little, little route here, really good pressure by this Dolphins defense, forcing Tannehill outside of the pocket. Tannehill on the run throws this deep ball downfield. And this ball's actually in a really good spot, right? It's over the head of uh, these defenders. A.J. Brown kind of has to run under it, but it's a little bit underthrown. It's just a tad underthrown, so where A.J. Brown has to kind of come back to the football. And this is really, really well played by Javon Holland. You're going to see Javon Holland right there. That's Xavier Howard. He was originally one-on-one -on -one against A.J. Brown, but A.J. Brown kind of beat Howard um, on this play here. But Holland's in such a good position position to try and stop Brown. Number one, right on A.J. Brown's hip, right in that inside hip, and he's got that length, too, uh, with his hands to try and, you know, swat away footballs, and that's exactly what he does here. So as A.J. Brown tries to go up and try and catch this ball, I love how J Javon Holland just kind of puts out that arm, kind of slaps that ball away, and even just getting a finger on it just disrupts A.J. Brown's timing to where he can't come in with that ball. So kind of just, you know, deflects it away. Really, really good job, but really good play recognition there by Javon Holland. Just seeing, okay, that ball's coming in over my head. Let me get my good positioning in, put out my arm to swat it away, and just tips it away from A.J. Brown. Really good job there by Javon Holland against a physical receiver in coverage. So overall, you know, those were kind of some of the plays that I was like, okay, Javon Holland, you know, is a big part of this defense. And I've been saying this for a couple of weeks now, but, you know, the Dolphins have really found a, a, a guy at safety that they can trust for the future. And honestly, him and Brandon Jones, too. Uh, Brandon Jones, you know, picked in the draft two years ago. Um, that was the Tua draft. That was the draft they got Tua. That was the draft that they had uh, Austin Jackson and Noah Igbenogany. And they picked Brandon Jones um, in around the 60s. Uh, I think he was a third-round pick, 70th overall. Um, but, you know, He's, he, he's a thumper, but Javon Holland is a guy that can get after the quarterback a little bit. We've seen that this season, but more importantly, he's a guy um, that can be productive in coverage. Uh, he's a downhill tackler. He's got the speed, um, the athleticism, but more importantly, the versatility to play a wide range of positions on the defensive side of the football. So he's a he was a really big pickup this offseason for this Dolphins team. Um, he brings a lot to this Dolphins defense. Really good to see him out there have a really nice game against the Tennessee Titans um, as the Titans... Beat the Dolphins pretty badly, but uh, good to see Javon Holland, the future at safety for the Miami Dolphins, have a solid game. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.